Hi, my name is Nathan and welcome to The Daily Word. On today's episode of The Daily Word, we'll be in Psalms chapter 3, verse 3. Let's read the scripture together on the count of three. One, two, three. But you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. Our daily word for today is the word shield. Let's say this word together, shield. So what is a shield? Usually when we think of shield, we think it in the context of military or with a soldier. A soldier holds a shield. A shield is basically an object or an item that is defending something else. A shield you put in front of something to protect what's behind it. Even in a car, you have a wind shield. If you didn't have the wind shield, anything that came in in front of the car would come straight into you. So to protect the driver and the passengers from wind and different objects on the road, you have a wind shield and that protects what's behind it. Or even think about when it's sunny out, what most people wear over their eyes are sunglasses. Those shield the eyes from the very aggressive light that comes from the sun. So you can look around right now, even in your home or or wherever you are, I'm sure you can find numerous examples of different shields. So basically a shield is something that goes before something else to protect what's behind it from being harmed. It's a protection item it's defensive. So now that we have a basic understanding of the word shield, let's go back into Psalm 3.3 and see how we can understand this verse better. So in this verse, what we see is that the shield is God. It says, the Lord is my shield. So what does that mean? Well, what it means is that there is a need for a shield. That's the first thing. You don't take a shield or you don't shield yourself when you're not in harm's way. You shield yourself when you're trying to protect yourself from something. You wear sunglasses because you know that without the sunglasses, the sun will hurt your eyes. So you need something to shield your eyes. Same thing with a windshield. You put that on to protect what's behind, the driver, the passengers. So the first thing is that we need a shield, that there is a need to be defended. There are things in our lives that will come at us that potentially can harm us or damage us. But oftentimes we try to use everything else other than God to try and shield us and protect us. But the truth about the Lord is that anything else, anything else you try to protect yourself with will ultimately give way. Nothing will be durable enough. Nothing will be as long lasting enough as you want it to be to continue to protect you from harm. What you see with the Lord being our shield is that when the Lord is your shield, he takes all of the damage. The shield itself takes the damage. And that's what we have in Jesus. When we look at his ministry, the abuse he took, the rejection he experienced, the death he experienced, and the sacrifice, all of that was like the damage on a windshield. That was like the damage on the shield protecting what's behind it, which is us. He took that damage so that we never have to. And when the Lord is your shield, nothing can be taken from you of any importance. So that doesn't mean that you won't lose money. You might lose money. It doesn't mean that you won't get sick. You'll probably get sick. It doesn't mean that you won't have suffering. In fact, Jesus declared in this world, you will have suffering. But he follows that with, but take heart, I have overcome the world. It's in John 16, 33. So the key of having the Lord be your shield is that in all situations, in all circumstances, no matter what happens to you, nothing of eternal importance can be taken from you because you will always have the Lord. So even if your money starts to drop, even though your health begins to fail, You still have the Lord because Jesus is not just with us, but in us. In believing in the name of Jesus, in believing in him as our Lord and our shield, 
we have nothing to lose. We have everything that we need with the Lord and with Jesus. And that gives you hope in those situations where you're coming under threat and you're being attacked and there is suffering. Knowing that the Lord is your shield means that at the deepest level in your heart, you're fine. You have peace and you have joy and you continue to have the presence of the Lord as your God and your shield. Well, that's a, that does it for today's episode of The Daily Word. If you like this video, if it was helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. But more importantly, go ahead and try to use this word. Look around you when you're in your house or outside. Try to recognize some shields. What are some things that shield you? And if you have any sentences or any stories you want to share, go ahead and write them in the comment section down below. But try to use this word and take it deeper and think about how the Lord being your shield will be different than the things that maybe you're using to shield you at the moment. Well, my name is Nathan and this was your daily word. See you next time.